Okay, so Meher Baba one uh, started when I was uh, still in the Indian Air Force, and I was about to, you know, uh, relinquish my uniform and come out. So the initial part of the Meher Baba one. uh in uh, terms of designing and where will it be conducted and what will be the contours of it etc uh was done by a team and i was also part of that team and uh, immediately as i came out another colleague of mine who had come out slightly before me both miras 2000 pilots we said let's do uh, let's participate ourselves in mer baba one so therefore we participated together with our uh, retirement funds and demonstrated to air force how Meher Baba one, uh, the flavor of Meher Baba one was swarming, the drones in swarm. So the word swarming or the drones uh, were working together towards a common goal. Uh, you know, uh, so uh, finding solutions uh, using artificial intelligence and machine learning again on board on the go. All that was demonstrated uh, by the both of us. in uh, pokhran range in sweltering heat of 53 degrees um in uh, in the year at uh, 2019 i think it was february 2019 or march 2019 the heat had just set in so meher baba 2 was all about uh, how to find the foreign object damage from a runway and i believe it was the the uh, company which stood first was uh, ion aerospace if i am not wrong and now comes meher baba 3 of all the three i would put meher baba 3 competition as one of the top top notch in terms of the statement of the problem is concerned um the most important part of meher baba 3 is that it has a little bit of overtones or touch uh, from the opsindur or um, going forward in the opsindur like operations very important thing that we need to understand is uh, we need to uh, for uh, prosecuting the enemy we need three things one is to detect second is to identify and third is to destroy as far as destruction is concerned we have uh, akash we have uh, the low llqrms the low level quick reaction missiles then we have s400 so the destruction aspect is more or less sorted out and a lot of work is also going on towards this destruction aspect so leaving that to a part we have two major components of air defense which is detect and identify so towards identify indian air force has already set up something called integrated air command and control uh, system nodes of the central command node which was which is the largest node as far as geography is concerned i was the commander for it uh, in lucknow so uh, i'm hands on on as as far as iaccs is concerned so uh, though um, i know a lot but what i'm going to talk about in iaccs is what is there in open source platform basically iaccs what it does is it integrates all the radar information including from civilian radars fuses this fuses fuses that information together into one a comprehensive picture we call it the rectified air situation picture or the rasp so all the information comes together in the icc and the rasp is created now based on this rasp and based on the other information available in terms of uh, the um, flight planning information as far as civilian aeroplanes are concerned and the internal planning information as, as far as air force aeroplanes are concerned as well as the non cooperative target information that we get from the target based on its radar signature uh, based on other parameters uh, that we cannot talk about in the open source we create what that particular uh, reflection or the radar or the aeroplane's picture is going to be in the iaccs so uh, more or less the uh, identify aspect is looked after by iaccs pretty well and we i mean i will stick my neck out and say this we are probably in the world the best uh, as far as detect is concerned because of iaccs the reason is very simple we came to the game much later therefore we came to the game with the modern technology modern computing um, capabilities and modern networking capabilities so all this put together our iaccs is one of the best in the world on top of the iaccs is what akash series is sitting 
and Trigun from Navy is sitting. So Trigun from Navy, Akash Tri from Army takes information from ICCS and uses it for its own limited uh, defense um, you know, uh, capability that it needs to look after, especially in the tactical battle area as far as Army is concerned, and in the high seas and in the coastal regions as far as Navy is concerned. That is Trigun and Akash Tri sitting on the larger node called ISCCS. Now let us come to the identify. The identify aspect is where there is a lot of push that is being given for simple reason. Earth is, you know, is like a ball. So over the horizon uh, visibility that we need to have on the um, from across the border is limited because of the curvature of the Earth. How do we how do we overcome this problem because of the curvature of the Earth, which is the nature, is by going up. So we have the uh, AWACS and A AWNC, Airborne Warning and Control System, and uh, Airborne Early Warning System, which the Pakistanis have. So when you go up, you could you can see farther into enemy territory. But the problem is an uh, AWACS or AB AWNC, as far as Pakistan is concerned, had requires something called the High Value Protection Force or HVAA, High Value Aerial Asset Protectors. So probably one full squadron of Sukhoi 30 or a Mirage 2000 is assigned to this particular aeroplane called the AWACS to protect it from the enemy attack. Now let's talk about the enemy attack. Pakistani pilots have been told, even at the cost of your life or the aircraft, you should bust in, go and shoot down the Indian Air Forces AWACS. It's not easy. They tried it and they, you know, fell like uh, flies out of the sky, which we saw. And uh, in fact, um, Trump also stuck his neck out and said eight aeroplanes were destroyed. So it's not easy to take out uh, AWACS, but we are assigning a, a large amount of force protecting this particular AWACS. This is where Meher Baba 3 comes in. Meher Baba 3 is absolutely beautiful in its uh, statement of the problem. The statement of the problem is, have drones uh, doing the job of AWACS in a multinodal platform. In the sense, you will have uh, smaller radars on multiple drones coming into the AWACS. I mean, these dro the drones will carry a smaller radar uh, going deep into the enemy, looking deep into the enemy territory, probably all across the border, all this information coming into the IACCS uh, architecture, which is pretty robust in making out what type of target. So in the sense, if you have one target being picked up by, say, 10 drones, IACCS has the capability to fuse all this 10 data coming together as one data of the same uh, reflection, reflection from the same aeroplane. That kind of robustness exists in IACC. So IACCS will be able to make out it is the reflection from single target being picked up by multiple drones and fuse it together. So the rectified air situation picture robustness of IACCS will, IACCS will take care of that. But when you have this uh, radar the top of drone going across into the enemy territory or flying along the border, we will have a seamless coverage we will have a 360 coverage looking into the enemy territory, and we will have a 24-7 coverage, which in AVAX may not be possible because it has to land to take fuel and again come up, or the second AVAX has to come up and stuff like that. 24-7 coverage with these drones and a low-cost coverage using drones. Most importantly, we don't have to give any protection force to these drones. Even if we lose one, two, three, we have multiple standbys, and multiple drones waiting to take that position. So this is going to be a game changer in, uh, in, in times to come as far as technology, as well as technology demonstration, as well as capability uh, increment. Mark my words, Meher Baba 3 is going to be the, going to be the uh, foundation on which this particular thought process will be built by many other Air Forces, many other countries in times to come. Starting with, you know, uh, United States Air Force would have already picked up this particular aspect and they would want to, you know, beat us to the draw to come out with a solution much before us. But very sadly, their, uh, you know, command and control network is still built on 
the Arink and those kind of platform, you know, 286 and uh, 486 kind of platform because they were much earlier in the game and therefore they have much older technology, which is not easy to replace because the entire architecture is built on the older technology. In our case, it is much new, I mean, the newest, fastest in terms of uh, processing power is concerned and accuracy is concerned. So Meher Baba 3, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, probably, you know, my wife has a company, probably Alilo will also participate, uh, fingers crossed. But I'm more excited about the outcome of Meher Baba 3. And I hope it is as good or if not better than uh, Meher Baba 1 and Meher Baba 2.